Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I wanted to try and capture the sunset. I see some really nice clouds outside and it is almost sundown, so I'm gonna go out there and try and catch it really fast. While that is going, I wanted to try and also capture these crazy gigantic bees that are flying around right now. They're humongous. It's so cool to watch them just like fly around. They're so big. We've also got a little friend who uh, Kevin does not like to be on the porch, but he's not here right now, so I'm going to let him hang out as long as he wants to. He's so cute. Definitely our neighbor's cat, not a stray cat, but he really, really likes to lay on our screen door that needs to be put up. <laughs> When I opened up the curtains this morning, I just like, I always just like shove them to the side like this. Okay. I just go, I wake up in the morning and go, and then <laughs> this cat was totally laying there this morning and it gave me a little bit of a, a fright. I was like, oh, not expecting that at all. But he's just so peaceful, hanging out in the evening. Good morning, it is a new day and it is absolutely beautiful. Obviously we're new to South Carolina, so you know, we're not used to what the normal weather is like, but apparently we're having like record breaking heat here, which is kind of crazy because back home we're having like record breaking cold. <laughs> it's currently snowing in our hometown um, in Oregon. So. <laughs> I keep finding that very humorous. You tell me you're scared. You tell me you're weak. I want to take a moment to say thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching. To support my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so that you never miss out on another vlog or whatever random video I decide to put up. Thank you again for being here. One of the very first signs of spring here is the pine trees release their pollen and I'd never seen this before so it was really cool. I thought maybe I can make paint out of this. It's such a beautiful yellow color so here I am collecting it and now I'm going to try and make some paint out of this. Whatever the mountain will come to the next honey first test was definitely a failure. I think this is important to show because when you're a creative person and you have an idea, you will probably go through a lot of trial and error. In this case, for me, it was two errors and one success. 
here I am mixing in some glow-in-the-dark paint which was kind of the only neutral paint I had aside from white but I didn't want it to dilute the color so that's what I'm mixing now and testing out I let this dry for about an hour just to make sure everything was cured and next I will test to see if it actually holds and sticks to the paper and of course that one worked, that one didn't, and the first one definitely did not stick at all. So, the glow in the dark paint wins. Honey, I'm with you through life and to be dead. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos coming up soon. I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.